guys, Cynthia Maynard here, and I was playing around with my Stampin' Up! Pansy Punch, um, as you can see, uh, but you could do this with whomever's Flower Punch, uh, the things I'm going to show you, but this is the Stampin' Up! one, and I have the stamp set that goes with it, and that's one way to use it. You stamp the Flower Shop uh, stamp set, goes nicely with that, and you stamp this on paper and then cut it out with this, punch it out. Um, but we're not limited to using that, of course. Um, I've got to always find different ways to use my stuff. So I was kind of playing around with, I had sprayed, just cut it out of some gray uh, cardstock and sprayed this with green and then I put some Versamark on just the edges and then embossed it with gold embossing powder. And you can see if I had several of these and layered them, they would have these gold tips and it would look very pretty, especially for something like uh, St. Patrick's Day. It has that clover-esque feel to it. I also took a sprayed one that was sprayed alongside this one and I put the whole thing upside down and just tapped it in Versamark, my Versamark ink pad and then put clear embossing powder on that and went ahead and dried that and it's got this beautiful sheen to it. So that's another way that you could use that. So you can see it's very, very glossy. Um, I also took some several, I've got three here, I punched it out of the same cardstock, sprayed it with water, crinkled them up and then unfolded them and then dried them with my heat tool. Uh, once I did that, I went ahead and sprayed it with some gold Tattered Angels Shimmer Mist and um, stamped with just some orange brownish um, ink, uh, this little medallion type thing from stamp from graphic 45 and just stamped it willy-nilly and then I stacked them all up put it in a brad and put some gold stickles on top to dry so that's another version that gives a sort of tattered um, tattered flower uh, feel to it then I have this one and this is one I'm going to show you today it is two uh, punches in uh, again the gray card cardstock and I sprayed it with orange dilutions and uh, some gold glimmer and then I cut one of the petals out and then glued them together with a glue and it gives this three-dimensional feel to it and in the middle is just some black glitter glue that I just squirted in there and it deflated um, it's not stickles it's another brand that I've never used um, and then there you have it and I don't have a brad in here so you'd have to attach that with some adhesive in the back when you were applying it but that gives a very 3d element so I'm gonna go ahead I've got some um, cardstock here. Go ahead and punch some of these out. And I'm going to go ahead actually and cut. So we've got one petal, one flower that we're going to use all, just whole. And then we've got one that we're going to go ahead and cut out one of these little pan pansy um, sections here. I'm going to put the glue dot there and then I'm going to bring the back of this over and adhere that. You're going to have to make a crease so it's almost like a cone feel and then you just hold that down for a second and so now this one I'm just going to kind of press my thumb in there to give it a little curvature just like so. Not some blue. Okay, so I just give it a spray. Kind of get inside our flower there. Wipe off your nozzles. Now you don't have to use Dilutions ink. You can use whatever you have. I'm just I've got a mudge hodgepodge of different things here. Um, I'm going to give it some glimmer, so I'm going to go ahead and use this Tattered Angel sort of yellow um, shimmer mist. Probably has a name. Sunlight Glimmer Mist is what they call it. And then I'm going to kind of coat that in there. Manipulate that a little bit. So 
Now you can go ahead and just kind of slightly flatten the back of that comb so we want it to be able to put another glue dot or you can use whatever adhesive um, you know would be strongest. It's a little wet in there so again it might have been better to do this flattened um, but we'll make it work. Okay. Manipulate it to where you want it. And then we can go ahead and put a center in there. So if you've got some stickles or some of the Nouveau um, drops or, or even a brad at that point, you could put a brad in. Um, you could put any other little button or a little pearl you could glue in there. Um, some Nouveau um, crystal drops in, let's see, bright gold. I'm just going to go ahead... And I'm going to use the tip of the applicator to kind of manipulate, oops, <laughs> I've got the drop seeds today, to kind of to kind of move that around to where I want it. And this is a dimensional paint, so it will um, dry like that. Okay, that basically is that. Let's try it doing the spring first. Uh, let's do um, candied apple red. Okay, and then how about some blue tattered angels, bluish silver iridescent? Let's see what that does for us. Okay, kind of gives us a ruddy red coppery. All the ink that's going on to this cardboard is just a cereal box that I have. I have a video about what to do with that when this is all dry so you don't waste that wonderful ink. So check that video out. Um, okay, so these are nice and dry. It's got this sort of reddish copper uh, glimmer to it. And now I'm going to go ahead and cut out one of our petals like we did earlier. I think it might be easier to do it this way rather than the first way we did it. Um, Seems to be working out that way. So again, we're going to apply our glue dot. To that, and we're going to take the back of this one and bring it over to make our cone. So it's almost like you're folding it in. And then we've got our cone. And you can kind of, you know, if you've got like a pencil, like my Fantastic here, you can kind of um, make these petals go out. Of course, there'll be a little seam there, but nobody's really going to notice that. Just like so. And then, again, squishing down, or you could use a ball stylus or any sort of whatever to kind of any rounded end squish that point just a little bit to get our glue dot on there and then we can put that if I can get my thumb off of it right smack dab in the middle and kind of press down and that further it's pretty sturdy so if you're using good good cardstock this is just the recollections um, brand cardstock it's nothing fancy um, so if you're using Stampin' Up! cardstock, for sure this will hold. Um, I was just using scraps. So I'm just sticking my thumb in there and applying some pressure to get that glue dot down. I'm not losing any dimension. You can always go back and reshape. And then um, we could pick another color. How about crystal drop here in red berry. And again, we're just going to go ahead and Got some air in there. Um, again, you could use stickles if you want a little glimmer in there. Just a small smidgen. Then you kind of have a two-tone. So, of course, clean that off. <laughs> um, so, there you go. Some more ways to use your um, punch from Stampin' Up! Um, 
very super simple, um, great dimension on your cards, projects, uh, on a little gift box or a bag or something like that. You could put that on there, the little tag coming out. Lots of fun things you could do with that. Just a tiny bit of cardstock, your punch, and a little bit of paint. All right, guys, go ahead and give me a like on that video if that helped you out. And uh, subscribe to my channel for um, lots of arts and lifestyle stuff. All right, thanks, guys. Have a great day.